Okay, welcome to today's five minute money mentor. Little tip we're talking about. I'm actually in London here, it's like three in the morning, but I wanted to record this one for you. Uh, I wanted to, so this is, remember, I'm speaking to you as if I was talking to my 18 year old self that just graduated high school. One of the most important things, I mean, this is top 10 things that you gotta learn that they didn't teach in school is sales, but I'm gonna specifically focus on, we're gonna talk about a few of these things. For you to get a black belt in this program in money, um, we're gonna have to go through breakdown sales in many ways, but you're always selling. Just remember this, in life, if you're applying for a job, you're selling yourself. If you're going on a date, even though people don't realize it and do not like to admit it, you know, you dress well, that's selling yourself. You try to show up on time, that's selling yourself. Um, when it comes to making money, at some point in your life, whether it's buying your own home or buying investment real estate, raising money from investors, getting customers for your business. Marketing is just one form of kind of automated selling. So everything's about selling. And I just want to talk specifically on this part. I'm going to teach the end first because the end is closing. A lot of people are good at the beginning, but they're not good at the end. It's kind of like a guy who sees a girl that he's attracted to at Starbucks and maybe he can like, you know, smile at her, but he forgets to get her phone number or her email address or her Instagram or something. He forgot to close. In the same way, a lot of things in business and making money come down to this last part. So I'm gonna focus on the last part first. Okay, here's the deal with closing anything related to making money. I'll give you three key things you gotta always keep in your mind when you're closing a deal. One is people are risk averse. What that means, this is a psychological principle, risk averse. It means people don't like anything new, anything new. So you're always an uphill battle, okay, if you're doing it wrong because you're asking people to buy a product that they're not used to. My first mentor said, Ty, it's always hard to beat the entrenched competition because if you make a soda that's kind of like Coca-Cola, well, people don't want to take a risk. They've been drinking Coca-Cola all their life. How are you going to close that deal and say, try something new? It's hard, and that's why companies have had a hard time competing with Coca-Cola. Um, if you're asking somebody to invest in your startup and it's the first business you've ever done, they're going to be risk averse. So we'll talk about some quick way to overcome this, and that is don't try to close too fast. Build a relationship with people. On average, you need to, tr you need to talk with people 12 times in one way or another. Sometimes it could be a text, email, phone call. So that's how you overcome risk aversion. Don't close too fast until you've talked to them for let's say five to 12 times. Now that doesn't mean that that's always a rule, but the general principle is people gotta get to know you. It's built hard-coded into human evolution and our genes. So I'm gonna actually put this in the middle. The 12 times rule. You gotta get to know somebody before you. It's kinda like fishing. If you're fishing, you throw the line out there, the fish grabs a hold of the Worm, that's called the hook. There's a part of sales at the beginning called the hook. We'll talk about that in another um, five minute little talk here. But if, you, if the fish starts to just nibble on the worm and then you pull, like you get too anxious, you get too excited, you pull, it just pulls out and the hook has not set deep enough in the mouth of the fish for you to actually catch what you're trying to catch. So big problem with closing deals, people are trying to do them too fast. Now you can be too slow, because there's some people that never close, and there is a way to speed it up. That's for those of you who stay till the black belt part, super ninja stuff. So people are risk averse, so you overcome that with this 12 times rule. If you're using internet marketing, you send them an email a few times, you maybe have an ad on Facebook or Instagram, wherever they go on the internet, they're kind of being followed by you, retargeted. You see me doing that. And the last principle of closing is just no fear. At some point, you have to be direct, okay? So I was just actually closing a deal on, I've been, we have an investment fund, me and Alex, and <clears throat> somebody, we talked to him more than 12 times. I've known the guy for years. He's no longer that risk averse. He knows us. We built a relationship. And at one point, I just realized, now's the time to push. So it's, you don't want to be pushy, but there comes a time um, here, you don't want to be pushy. When you start getting close, you're trying to close, but you haven't talked to them 12 times, you got to be careful being too pushy. But once it's time, and I'd talked to this guy for years, I just finally said to him, this is my close. I said, listen, we've been talking for years. Let's do this deal or not do it. 
You ready to go? Let's go. This is going to be a great decision for you. We're working hard on this <laughs> investment product. I'm invested in it. Let's make some money together. And you give that little nudge. So maybe better than push is nudge. You're going to have to do that to close, okay? So leave a comment below um, on an example where you either try to close too fast or you were not pushy enough at the right time. Just leave an example and how you would change that. That'll close this lesson. See you on the next one, okay?